हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रितेश वेलकम एवरीवन टू डांसिंग विद डेटा हेयर इज माय वेबसाइट टैब्लो डॉट टैब इनफो डॉट कॉम हेयर इज माय लेटेस्ट एडिशन टू इट व्हिच इज एसक्यूएल रिमेंबर दैट एसक्यूएल इज द नंबर वन स्किल अलोंग विद टैब्लो इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर एनी डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन जॉब सो इफ यू आर नॉट गुड एट एसक्यूएल देन हाउएवर हाउ मच यू वर्क ऑन टैब्लो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प यू एक्चुअली so just go over there there is a video and uh, this is a live uh, hands on experience for you i hope you will like it if you are liking my uh, efforts then uh, do hit the like button after watching this video if you like this video do hit the like button that's the way i get to know and do subscribe to my channel uh, press the bell icon over there otherwise you don't get the notifications so what we are going to do today we are what i for you today we uh we would like to troubleshoot data blending so we'll be covering these points one of the most common error that you would have caught at uh, blending that is uh, cannot blend the secondary data sources because one or more fields use an unsupported aggregation so we'll try to discuss one by one all these scenarios and we'll make part 2 of this series as well so let's go to the uh, data itself the best way to learn is to do so this is the first one where you have uh, two data sources one one is sample supposed to another is world indicators and this is the first scenario that we are talking about what is the first scenario first scenario is non additive aggregate non additive means county uh, where you can't you know do aggregation but you, you these are non additive aggregates like min max and count county non additive aggregates are only supported in the primary data source if the data in the data source comes from a relational database that allows the use of temporary tables so that means so i don't have that uh, relational database but i can just tell you that uh, you have to just go and turn your uh, relational database to extract then only non additive aggregate will work right if the data in the data source comes from a relational database that allows use of temporary tables to work around this issue consider creating an extract of your data source so for this i will not be able to show you the hands on experience but i can tell you that coming to the second one non additive aggregate from the secondary data source now come to the secondary data source non additive aggregate are only supported in the secondary data source if the linking from the primary data source is included in the view that means for example if this this is your first question uh this one you have uh, two data sources over there and you have linked that with country or region so what they are saying that you are linking field for example maybe i can exclude region for example if we go with the country this field should be there at the view from the primary data source then only it will work right non additive aggregate only supported again if the linking field from the primary data source is included in the view and no non aggregated dimensions from the secondary data source is included so there are two conditions first is i need to get the linking field from the primary data source then only it will work so you have a general uh, view over there with the aggregate uh, function over there like sum of lod so it can be anything and i am getting this from my secondary data source this fixed one this one so it will not work until and unless i bring the linking field which is the linking field over here if you see go to the word indicator this is the linking field so i need to get this from the primary data source and i have to remove this from the view so now it is working so that's what uh That, that that's what help helps you over here and it also says that some number functions can still be used if they include an additive aggregation some of in some of the and, and the other case is that it, it 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 said that you don't you cannot you cannot bring non aggregated di dimension from the secondary data source i fixed it this but if i try to get the non aggregate these dimensions to the views to, to columns or rows it will again not work like for example if i bring region over there it will not work so that is the condition you should have the linked field from the primary data source 
and you should not have should not have any non aggregated dimension from the secondary data source then only it will work so this is the second case but it says that some of the number function can work like round sum of this thing can work so uh, let us try to see if this can work and uh, you know, maybe we have uh, yeah we already have there if you have anything like this round function okay it is this should be from the second data so we are talking about the calculation from the second data source so if you have you know, there are some of the exceptional cases like round 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 function over there round sum of business tax rate the only thing is that you will have to use round sum of sales instead of round sales one so in this case if you see i have broken the rule i have uh, the linked field from both secondary and primary but it is working for round it is it is working if i bring something else i'm not sure it will work no it will not work so that's what they are trying to tell you that round will work in this scenario the second scenario going to the third scenario now this is quite similar to the first one non additive aggregate uh, non additive aggregate from multi connection data source that uses live connection multi connection data source that connect to data using a live connection do not support uh, temporary tables so in this case also you have to turn that to extract to work around this issue you will have to there will be certain cases where you have to just turn that around to extract and it will work for you so that in some of the cases that would be your first step to do coming to this one to, to, to the last one it says lod expression from the secondary data source this error can also appear when you use a level of detail expression of view that uses data blending so if you are using a level of detail expression this will uh, pop up to resolve this error make sure the linking field in the primary data source is in the view before you use an lod expression from the secondary data source and remove this is the same thing so your lod expression will also not work for example uh we can take example of uh, this one as well if you see you have the lod expression as well so again they are saying the same thing if you if you are having the lod expression then you have to ensure that you have the linked field from the primary data source that is the region this is the linked field right so then only your lod function will work over here and at the same time you are not supposed to if I, that means if you remove this it is not going to work your fix is not going to work over here right so that's what you have to do look for the first and third case i don't have to do anything i have to just turn that to extract so these are already extract so these are the minor things that you don't have to do anything but you have to just turn that to extract so i hope you will be able to do it on your own so i'm just uh, trying to tell you the other stuff which are little more not complex but little you have to do little more than the just right clicking and uh, turning that to extract ah this one this is a more other this is the one of the most common question as well where you have asterisk signs over there that means you have more than one value right so i have one example for you as well if i if you if you go to the this one right uh, this one so again my primary data source over here is world indicators and again i am i have tried to blend on country right and within those countries we have uh, multiple customer names so what it is showing right now it is showing that you have blended on country that's fine this is country coming from uh, the world indicator which is a primary data source and country name and the customer name from the secondary data source so you have multiple customers within country for argentina for australia that's what this star is denoting over here so what do you have to do in this case you have to do nothing but you have to ensure that the primary source population are okay we'll just directly go when you blend to that so i'll just take you to the resolution right that's what you want rebuild the switch to the primary and secondary data, data source with each other in general you should make 
the data source whose value have higher level of granularity the primary data source so in this case if you see the higher level of granularity is with sample super store because a country is divided into number of customers right that's why this star is coming so what you have to do is you have to switch the data sources this should be your primary data source that means for extract a sample super store should be a primary data source and this should be your secondary data source so you can just switch it and uh, that will help you in the next page it will show you the same now this is the primary data source this is the second data source now easily you can see ar under argentina it is taking all the customer names here under under argentina it was just telling you that okay there are multiple customer customer names but i'm not going to show you I'll, i'm going to show you star so just remember the higher level of granularity should be with the primary data source so there are few more uh, uh, scenarios over there i will make part two of the of the same at the end thanks for watching this video and if you are liking this video do uh, press the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and share this video if you are liking it this is Tish signing off from dancing with data because data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch आता है